Today's video is going to go over the surprisingly easy but not simple way to share files on a home network for Windows 10. I will cover the proper way to set up a private home network as well as the fixes. I'll put the fixes at the timestamp below if you've already set up a network but you're having trouble now accessing your files and folders. So we need to take a folder that we want to share, go to the properties, go to sharing and share to everyone. And that's going to be everyone that has access to the private home network. And we click share and done. Now we need to set up our network and we will go to change connection properties in order to make sure that we are on a private network. If you want to do this for a public network, that's fine. I'll show you how to do that too. But I advise uh, private networks. It's just a little bit more secure. Now we go down to our sharing options and we want to make sure that we turn on network discovery and automatic setup of network connected devices for our private network. Turn on file and printer sharing. Now, if you're doing it on a public network, that's fine. Just do it in the network discovery for the guest and public networks. For all networks, we want to turn off public sharing only if we're not using the public sharing folders. I don't, so mine are off. File sharing connections. Use 128-bit encryption to help protect file sharing connections. Recommended. That works perfectly fine. Password protected sharing. Turn that off unless you want it, but it's a lot easier without it. Save those changes and close down. Now is when we come to the fixes for Windows 10. So we'll go to services and we'll go down to function discovery provider host and resource publication. We need to make sure those are running on the computers that we want to share from and access from. Mine with a manual and manual trigger start work fine every time I start up my computer. Double click it if you need to change the startup and uh, click start if it's not already running. This other fix is new and affected me recently. So I have a feeling that it's due to a recent update. What we want to do is open up our programs, apps and features, and change the programs and features. And turn Windows features on or off. And go down to this SMB 1.0. We want to make sure that all these are turned on. Mine were turned off during an update at some point and uh, caused me to not be able to file share. So once I turned that on, I was back up and running, especially because I had those function discoveries running. So that's all you need right there. And you should be able to access other computers and their files. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.